everyone, welcome to 3-Minute Quarren Teaching Tips. Today we're going to take a look at how to best use color-coded folders in your Schoology course to help your students navigate their way around. So if you take a look at my Schoology course, I've started at the top here with a welcome video for my students, then I have some folders of helpful information for both parents and students, and then my week one folder, the folder that my students are currently using, is color-coded red to draw their attention. Down below my week one folder, I have some more folders of, of instructional content. Um, and I have my red folder at the top, and then down below I have my weeks two, three, four, five folders. All of those folders are color coded blue, so my students know that we're not there yet. I've also done something to those folders, and that is that I've unpublished them, so my students actually can't see them yet. And that's nice for me because I can continue to work and build content in those folders, but students aren't able to view them yet. And if I come over here to the right hand side, I'm going to click on the little editing button here on the right hand side and I'm going to click on publish and if I click on publish that folder will now become available to my students. So if I'm moving from week one content to week two content now my students are able to see the week two folder. So what I want to do when I'm ready to move from week one to week two is go ahead and change that color coding system that I have. Change my red folder at the top here to blue. I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to change this folder to blue so that my students know we're no longer on this content. We're moving on to week two. And I'm going to change my week two folder by clicking on edit to be red so that my students know that this is the content they need to be drawn to this week. This is where they're going to be working. I'm also going to do something else. I'm going to grab this week one folder and drag it to the bottom so my students know that this is not where we're working anymore. This, this folder will still be available to them. I'm not going to unpublish it. I'm not going to delete it if they ever need to come back to this content anymore. Um, but it's, un, it's down at the bottom so that they're not confused by it and their eye is drawn to this red folder at the top. Another tip for organizing folders inside your Schoology course is to put folders away after a time period is finished. So after this first nine weeks of instruction, I'm going to create a folder for all of these folders down at the bottom of my course. I'll click on Add Folder, and I'm going to title it First Nine Weeks so that I can drag all of my content folders down to the bottom. I'm going to change the color of it too so that it dra uh, draws the attention of my students. And then I'll just drag all of these folders to the bottom. I'll open it up and drag the folders to the bottom so that um, they'll be in that one folder for my students. So now I've dragged all of these folders for the first nine weeks of content down into this purple folder that represents where they'll be housed the first nine weeks of content. And I'm ready to add a new folder for my new nine weeks. And I'm going to add a folder here for the first week of the new content of the new nine weeks. I'll just title it week one with the dates of the first week of the new nine weeks of content. And I'm going to change that color again to red because this is the content that my students will be working on for that first week of, of learning. So I hope this was helpful information in creating an organized folder system in your Schoology course. Stay tuned for more 3-minute tips.